afternoon. Hello everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to the anniversary webinar of our COL Trade to Alpha. I'm Ed Martinez, I'm the head of COL Premium. And of course, let me welcome everyone to this uh, live event that we have, of course, with two of uh, what we consider the pillars of our humble trading community. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce first our Chief Technical Analyst, Mr. Juanes Barredo. Sir. Hello everybody, welcome to our uh, afternoon show. All right. And of course, uh, our next guest for this afternoon is our uh, uh, tireless coach who guides us every morning and every evening. And ladies and gentlemen, our uh, senior technical analyst and a senior coach in the Caleb Institute, Mr. Lawrence Lee. Hello, Lawrence. Hi, guys. Nice to be here. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a public show. It's available to all COL Premium clients, members of our exclusive trading group, as well as the general public. If you have friends who are interested to watch, of course, feel free to share the links that you have so we can uh, help us pick the brains of our experts. So as mentioned, we have a public show today. And to join us, uh, you, you can uh, ask your friends or your family to watch through YouTube. So we're under YouTube Live. Um, uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to use our Slido app as well as uh, comment on the portion below, all right? So uh, if you log into Slido, you'll be asked to enter uh, the password, which is a hashtag TTA turns one. So TTA stands for Alpha. So for more information, let's watch this. Hi, I'm Jane, your premium partner. We want to make sure that you get the most out of the event. So we partnered with Slido. Slido is a simple audience interaction platform that will allow you to ask questions, answer polls, and engage with our speakers, basically giving everyone a chance to get heard. To join the event, first, open your web browser and type www.slido.com. Also, you may download the Slido app from the App Store or Google Play. Then, enter the event code. Enter your full name and lastly, enter the passcode. To ask a question, you can click on the question tab, type your question in the space provided, and press enter. Your question will be submitted to us for evaluation. You may also vote on the questions that you think are relevant to you so we know which questions to prioritize. To answer a poll, you can click the poll tab and select your desired answer. We will let you know if the poll is activated. To view videos, click the menu button and select live stream to watch. You may choose to shift across the tabs when you need to. See? Very easy! We hope you enjoy and make the most out of the event today with COL Premium and Slido. All right, welcome back. Uh, I, I hope you were, you were able to learn how to log on to our Slido app. And uh, please ask questions. And let, let me remind everyone that at the end of the show, we will be awarding the most influential uh, participant in our web show, right? So if you have the question with the most amount of votes, you will win a special gift from COL Premium. And of course, if you are not able to watch this, it's also available in YouTube after the web show. So you can watch it and share it with your friends uh, for as much as you want, okay? So uh, again, uh, the special prize. So make sure you in input your name and email when you fill out your Slido details so we know how to get in touch with you. All right, so let's get on with the show. All right, so uh, first let's talk about general strategy. So um, as I go, our 
our dear chairman, di ba? He always asked us when you see us in the when we eat, di ba? Paano ba tayo gagawa ng pera, di ba? So asking this general strategy first one is uh, how do you think we can make money out, out of this uh, out of the current market conditions? Well, the current market is is uh, slowly recovering. Uh, but the recovery we feel is not going to be uh, as intense as the way we want it to be. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see something that's going to be creeping along and we're going to see price channels move here. Okay. And that means that the strategy we're going to have to be able to use is every time stocks make a dip, mm -hmm. we're going to have to be able to confidently buy it as it comes closer to support. Okay. And when it rushes back to resistance, instead of normally you chasing it at that movement, you want to take some profits of that in preparation for another cascade downwards. So, you range trade this as prices move higher. Okay, so, but of course, we understand that the market may also break above that resistance or break below its support. So what's your advice for people who will see that? Because, of course, not it's not all the time that they will keep within that range, right? Yes, but you know, uh, we've seen quite a bit of stocks already climb up quite a bit in terms of their recovery. So we're not seeing stocks just begin a recovery swing. Right. And that would mean that even if stocks or if the index breaks out over 7,900, mm -hmm. uh, you will still see a more gradual approach to this. So as prices move on, at least it tells you that the recovery will extend. Okay. But be aware that the channel highs might stop you in the interim and allow for another swing down before you enter. And that will be the range trade that I was talking about. Okay, right. Thank you, Manis. Lawrence, uh, what are you at this point? <laughs> I, think, I think the the key thing here is that we're also lumped into the emerging market mm -hmm. um, okay. uh, group. So if, if you look okay. at the global scale, uh, any anytime there's a, a positive or negative response towards the emerging market setup, well, maybe we're going to take some um, heat, heat on that front, right? Uh -oh. So the good thing there is that the dollar, I think, is in a situation where it's kind of topping out. Mm -hmm. So anytime the dollar starts to um, weaken, so the dollar's mm -hmm. been strengthening this whole time, the peso continues to weaken all the way to 53, 54 bucks, right? Okay. Uh, if the peso actually starts to um, strengthen a little bit moving forward, mm -hmm. I think that's going to ease up on the burden, that overhang of shares that's happening today. Okay. Um, and then it's going to be more attractive for um, Guy yeah, foreign funds to come back into the, into our market, so um, that's something that we would we want to be looking at. The right. So future. you were mentioning overhang of shares. Yeah. What do you mean by that? So when you say overhang of shares, normally what happens is that, um, especially coming from nine thousand, mm -hmm. a lot of people are still losing money uh -huh. coming from that top, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very normal for you as you're breaking even. Mm -hmm. So markets rallied from um, from the six nine lows, right, uh -huh. and all the way up to seven nine where we are today. That's a thousand point rally, right? right. So being able to make back that thousand points, a lot of people are now breaking even and they're like, right. oh, I, I just want to, when I look at my portfolio, <laughs> right? So I'm down, if I'm down from, from, the, from the peaks, you're down 20%. When you look back, you, you just made back 10% of that. Right. Right. So now you're like, oh, right. Right. so that's why there's an overhang of shares today because those people are still losing money. So what you want is that you want those guys to start selling the guys who are losing money and then bring even, you want them to sell to people who are now new to the market who aren't taking any losses and are purchasing at these levels. All right. So that the overhang, you put a full overhang, you bigat sa puso mo kasi yes. lubi ka. Lubi ka pa. Nawawala, nawawala. Pero in that same instance, Lawrence, kung lubi ka pa, so pag medyo break even ka, more or less, ibibenta mo? Normal. Normally, you will. Normal. Because you can see how your portfolio has suffered to the 30% and 20% down. And then you can see the bawi. 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 The Okay, now moving on. Uh, Sir Juan, is, my question is if you know, there's an overhang of shares, and of course, if you try to rally back the previous high, mm -hmm. most of the people will be breaking even, what could possibly change that? Because, of course, uh, this, this is a question we still get from our premium customers. No? Is a 9,000 market still possible? And if so, what are the necessary elements that we need in the market for us to be able to you know, break out of that uh, range? 
Well, in the realm of possibility, although I mean that that could be there, but I think the possibility is very, very small. Very small. Yeah. yeah. So, and as Los Lawrence was talking about earlier, as the market is recovering and you've allowed people to buy from six thousand nine yeah. to seven thousand one, two, and three, you have new people buying positions over here, and as prices extend upwards, right. these guys are now making money. Okay. Those who are losing are now being able to get to break even, okay. and so those guys wanting to sell, plus these guys who are entering can now make money. Right. creates its own resistance on the way out. And that's what may prevent the yes. market from going all the way that stretch up yes. in, in a very short period of time because we don't have that much longer for the rest of the year. So I guess following that ratio, we need to finish Muna, yung mga tao, yung lugugay. Another way to be able to, you need to be, or you need to be able to find overhang. Not that the over, but you need to find new support in the market that okay. despite that overhang, we're willing to take the market up to the next level. Okay. So right. there could be a catalyst that he was trying to explain, yes. cost, whether it's caused by the peso or right. whatever other market can generate more demand and can overwhelm that uh, over, or overhang in supply, then right. you could have the market attempt to continue on. But like I said, we feel it's going to be cascading upwards and it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to see a rocket ship move from here. Mm -hmm.